Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm working on week 10 from 2017. So the first thing that I'm doing, and you see me do this every week, is putting down my four by six photos and trying to decide where I want everything to go. So this week you can see I did something a little bit differently and I typed right onto my photo. I have like a title and then some typing right underneath. This started all with the San Diego photo that's down at the, the bottom left. I was thinking that I would just write, you know, put San Diego with some uh, alpha stamps, but I decided to just do it in Photoshop. And then once I did it with that uh, photo, I thought, you know, why don't I do it with several photos? So I just went ahead and did it on multiple and repeated that. I did it on five photos. So there's two photos that don't have any journaling or title on it at all. Doesn't bother me in the least. It's not something that um, I think about. It's just that I didn't have anything specific that I wanted to say, or um, maybe I was using that journaling for a three by four card. So I just didn't, I just left it off. So then I grabbed over the Studio Calico kit for March. This actually came the, the day after I worked on week nine, which I was kind of bummed about because I wanted to use that rubber March for last week on week nine. But um, because I didn't have it, I just figured since, you know, this week is the full week, the first full week of March, I decided that it would be fine and totally work out to do it this week. So I'm just going ahead and looking through some of my supplies and I got to be a little honest, this was this is probably my least favorite kit in a long time and lately I've really been enjoying the kit. So I was kind of bummed when I was looking through the products and I realized, gosh, there's not a whole lot that I want to use. Um, definitely the card that stood out to me was there's a whole world at your feet. There's some journaling that I want to do. My daughter worked really hard all week uh, trying out for cheerleading for the high school for next year. And so I wanted to, I thought that that card would go really well with that story and also just what was going on this week with her. I also really liked that subtle green card that I used for the title card. It kind of has this light ombre effect. So I decided to go ahead and use that one as well. So, you know, it wasn't my favorite kit and that happens from time to time. It's not something that I think is a very big deal. Sometimes, you know, it's full of a bunch of products that you love and sometimes it's not. Most of the time, I love the kits, which is why I continue to get them. So I was slightly let down that there wasn't a whole lot of products that I was excited about using um, this month, but I'll rally and I will figure it out. Uh, I still have tons of supplies to be able to use. So the next thing that I did, I'm doing is I'm looking for some journaling cards that I want to use. I'm currently going through some cards from Ali Edwards. Um, some of these are from Day in the Life, Week in the Life kits, also um, from some of her story kits that are mixed in there. All right, you guys, so I just want to take a pause and apologize for the video being out of focus. I have no idea how this happened. It literally like unfocused on its own, and this has happened to me before, and it is so frustrating. The camera that I'm using only has the screen on the back. So I kind of have to get up out of the way and look at the screen. I can't just like look up and see how I'm doing, if I'm still in the frame. So I apologize because it's going to be out of focus for probably a couple of minutes. And I know that it's really annoying, but hopefully you guys can still get the gist of what I do, I'm doing and you can still you know, for the most part, see what's going on. Obviously, you can't see a lot of the writing or what's on the cards, but I will definitely try to explain that as I go along. So thank you for your patience. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out what are all the stories that I want to tell from this week. And one of them definitely I wanted to tell, like I mentioned, was from my daughter, um, trying out for cheer and I grabbed over this cheer set from Allie Edwards and I think the stamp that I used said cheering you on always or something like that I thought it was a great sentiment because that's definitely how I feel and that's kind of a lot about what I talked about in the journaling it wasn't just about like this is what you did it was you know about how hard she was working how proud I was of her 
So obviously that journaling was a little too long, so I decided to just go ahead and type that out. So the ink that I used for that was Emerald City. That is a Studio Calico dye ink, and I thought that that went really well with that filler card that it's next to, so that's why I went ahead and chose that. So the next thing that I'm working on is that card from Allie Edwards. I'm gonna grab it in just a minute. It uh, says, here's the story on top. It came from a story kit. Can't remember which one, but it came in a pad, so there are you know a handful of them that I'll be able to use this year which is great because I really just like that story or card it's really simple and um, I wrote about actually one of the stories I wrote about was I left my house in a hurry I forgot my wallet and I had all these errands to run and when I realized I was basically like 20 25 minutes away from my house and I was so bothered but it turns out I had Apple care and the store I was at took it so it was a lot about how Apple care and technology totally saved me. So I thought that that would be a really fun story to tell and something to remember. So, you know, that's something to remember when we're telling, you know, telling stories. It doesn't always have to be about someone specific. It, you know, I think it's fun to be able to tell stories about something like technology that will definitely change in our lifetime. I mean, who knows what technology is going to look like, you know, 20, 10, 20 years from now. So I thought that that um, would be a great story to tell. So I pulled over my Carrie Bradford stamp set. That's what the Friday is from, and it's called Big Day. I'm not sure if it's still available but if it is I will link to it below I bought it back in the fall and I decided that I wanted to tell the story about our Friday like most Fridays um, we are all like kind of separated going our different ways lots going on on the weekend seems like most you know Saturdays we could be together Fridays are for friends so I just wanted to tell a story about that so I grabbed over let's see that Friday I stamped with a studio calico ink it's called sunny day and then that um, arrow actually came from February studio calico kit it's a stamp set um, by one little bird and I wanted to use that actually I was thinking about using that this week on my photos but I decided to do something different and so I just went ahead and um, used the one there and it says weekend on it and it I just put it right over the Friday you can obviously see that it says Friday so I wasn't too worried about it I was thinking about popping it up but I honestly didn't want to go get my pop-up adhesive so I just decided to stick it in and just do the journaling on there so then the next thing that I'm doing is dealing with this three by three photo. And I'm honestly just going to do the sim same thing that you've seen me do a million times. So this is definitely something that I am repeating throughout my album. And I love that because I don't even have to think about it anymore. I know I'm gonna use the date stamp and then um, that I'm going to just do my journaling on there. I also wanted to mention that I am using a Pilot Multi-Ball to do my journaling. You, In my last video, I mentioned that I wanted to find something a little bit different that was more of a fountain pen. And this definitely, it's not a fountain pen, but it has more of a fountain feel and I've really liked it. Um, I, it came in a Studio Calico planner kit that I bought back in December when they were $8. So, um, I remembered it and went ahead and decided to use it to see what I thought. And I, I actually really do like it. So the last thing I did is grab over the chipboard set. This was from the Ali Edwards bond kit. And one of the chipboards said totally love. And I wanted to add that to the photo. And so I was thinking about adding more, you know, you add something once you feel like you need to add it again for repetition. But this time I decided I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't really want to add a bunch of embellishments. I really liked how the photos were simple and they just had the text on there. So I decided to leave it and not worry about it. All right, you guys, so this is the spread for this week. It definitely came together quick, but that's because I did all of that journaling in Photoshop ahead of time. If you guys are new to my channel, I just want to welcome you and thank you guys, all of you, for being here. Like always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, you guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye.